Hi and welcome to the best of IP Mat series. The question for today is a question from the chapter of matrices. The main reason why we have selected this question in the best of IP Mat series is because it belongs to the chapter of matrices. Okay, uh, the, the I would say this question is more in the realm of basic algebra than matrices. You don't really need to know very difficult concepts of the chapter of matrices. If you know your basic algebra, basic uh, polynomial multiplications, you are through. That's about it. Okay. So anyway, let's get to the question. But before we start solving, as always, pause the video, try your hand at it, and then let's see the solution. Hello, everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test, and full length mock test, and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, let's start with the solution. So what I'm going to do here in this question is I'm going to, they've asked us to find the value of that huge expression. Okay, now uh, A plus B inverse is what is given. So I'm going to write this A as something. Let's see what it is. So I just start with 2A minus B minus, I'll put this into the bracket A plus b minus b. I hope this is simple algebra that you understand. Instead of a, only a, I am writing it as a plus b minus b. Obviously, b minus b will give us, in general algebra, it gives us 0 here. Uh, and this is multiplied with a plus b inverse, correct, into a plus b times a plus b inverse times b. Okay. Now, have a look at this question, uh, at, at these terms, okay. Uh, see, this is a plus b and b multiplied with a plus b inverse, okay. So, a plus b into a plus b inverse is going to give us i, correct. So, we write 2a minus b minus into the bracket, I will write i for a plus b into a plus b inverse. Now, minus b into a plus b inverse, I am going to write it as it is. So, minus b into a plus b inverse is as it is, okay. I close the bracket and I write a plus b into, I am not changing these terms anyhow. So, this is a plus b inverse into b. Now, if I open this bracket, okay, I am going to get what? I am going to get 2a minus b minus i into a, which is a, and minus a b into a plus b inverse, plus b into a plus b inverse times b. Okay. So, now, if you look at these two terms carefully, we know that b into a plus b inverse is common. So, let us take that out common. Okay. Uh, also, we can just simplify this term. 2a minus a will become a. So, a minus b minus, I am going to say b into a plus b inverse outside. Okay. So, b into a plus b inverse, if I take out, what am I left with? I am left with a plus b into the bracket. Correct. So, this uh, simplifies our life a lot. Uh, we know that a plus b inverse into a plus b will give us i, which is identity matrix. So, this reduces to 1 and b minus b is anyway, uh, you know, cancelling out each other. So, it is going to be 0, which means your final answer is matrix A. So, that is the solution. So, if you see this, in this entire question, we have absolutely not used any concepts of matrix that you, you know, any concepts that you learn in the chapter of matrices. It is all basic algebra. You just need to know very, very simple things about, matri uh, about the chapter of matrices and you should be able to get through to this question. So, I hope you are able to solve the replica question also. So, see you in the next video. Till then, happy learning and all the best.